Even though we were working together throughout the two years in high school, we became really good friends, but it was not really until that summer I feel that we got a little bit closer, we talked a little bit more. But the falling in love happened like later after graduation when she moved away and we started writing all these letters and, and it developed from there. She went to UC Berkeley over the summer, but she didn't get to say goodbye to me because she had to leave early. She was having problems with housing or something like that. and said, okay, well, you know, I'm off to college, I'm leaving, you know, I think this is a really good thing for me. And he was really happy for me and everything he said. He was all excited. He was at the same time jealous. I had hoped that he would be able to go off to college. He wasn't able to because he went to um, a community college near home. And I was like, okay. And then we say, okay, let's write. Let's keep on writing to each other. We just started writing letters back and forth. And, you know, this is before email and before text messaging. And I think he was surprised because I did write. I said, okay, we'll write to each other. And I sent him an, uh, a letter and I said, how are you doing? This is what's going on with me. You know, I'm, I'm having a great time. And he started writing back, started constantly sending letters back and forth. We just felt as if we could write anything in the letter and not be judged and not have to worry about what it means. You know, it's like putting your heart out on the paper and knowing that it's not going to be rejected. Uh, he would share his poems because he was trying to be an aspiring athlete, a baseball player, but at the same time a writer. And I always told him he was a better uh, writer than a baseball player. So he's like, okay. And, you know, so he started sharing some of his art, some of his work, some of his writing, some of his um, poems and things like that. So that, I guess he opened up because he wasn't letting any other people read it. So that, I, I guess that made me feel special. And that's how it developed, you know, we just started writing letters and a whole bunch of them. And that's how it happened. Throughout the fall, we kept on doing this, call, talking on the phone, speaking long hours. Before I knew it, it was December and winter break and somehow we just got together. <laughs> it was Christmas and then it was my birthday, but in between there, I think it was the 27th, is when we kissed for the first time. And, uh, and that was when, that was when I, for both of us, I think our romantic relationship began.